Uh, welcome back to 1.22 part C and D. We're going to do both of these in the same video this time because they're pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so we want to use our answers from parts A and B to find the magnitude and direction of negative A minus B and B minus A. So negative A minus B, all of our same like multiplying numbers and distributing, distributing numbers rules still work for vectors, which is great. So both of these have a negative sign, so we can pull out a negative sign and leaves us with negative a plus b. So this is our answer from part a. Which means that the component notation. So a plus b in part a was 7.5 i hat plus 5.0 j hat meters. Don't forget your units. Gosh, I keep doing that. Sorry. Is just going to have a negative sign on the front. So it's going to be the negative of this answer that we had from part A. Meters, J hat. So it's going to be a little bit to the left and a little bit down. So it's going to be like if our original one was like that, it's going to be like that. So just exactly in the opposite direction. I don't know why vector C and D are on here. It must be for different problems. Yikes. Okay. So if the magnitude of our answer from part A was, what was it? It was 13, right? No, it was nine. It was nine. Nine meters. But now instead of being at this angle from the positive x-axis, it's going to be at the same angle from the negative x-axis. So if we were at an angle of 34 degrees above the x-axis, we are now at 34 degrees below negative x-axis. Or you could take your positive 34 plus 180. So that's going to be 214 from the positive x-axis. Okie dokie. Okay. So then for part D, it's going to be very similar. Let's erase these guys. All right. So for part D, we're looking at B minus A. So these are trans, that one word where you're allowed to reorganize them. <laughs> so we could also say minus A plus B. That is equal, those are true. Is that transitive, associative? I don't remember. Somebody let me know. Okay, so then again, we can pull out a minus sign. So A minus B. So this is going to be the negative of our answer from part B. So from part B, we had a magnitude of 22 meters at an angle of 250 degrees. So now we're still going to have a magnitude of 22 meters. But instead of being at an angle of 250 degrees, we're going to be up here in the opposite direction. So minus 180 from that. 
minus 180. Let us get that. So that's going to be at our 70 degrees from the positive x axis. So this is going to be negative part B. Okie dokie. So if you all have any questions about those, feel free to let me know and we can go over it a little bit further.